30, a mother's questions answered eight months after her son dies from a heroin overdose. What she found was just how easy it was for her son to get a syringe. Not on your sides, TJ Parker shares her story and the alarming trend addiction counselors are now seeing. Loretta Huffy's son Adam died from a heroin overdose back in March, but she recently just found something giving insight into her son's final moments. He, uh, Bought the syringe that killed him. Loretta Huffy visits her son's grave often. It's just hard when you've worked with somebody for so long trying to get through all of that, and then he turns around and has this happen to him. Eight months after her son died, the coroner's office sent her a few of his belongings, his wallet and a receipt inside. I looked, and the receipt shows that he had bought a syringe for 29 cents and a six pack of needles. A syringe and needles. The receipt shows he bought those items at an agriculture supply store hours before he died. The attic is the most resourceful person that, that I've come to know. Uh, to get a fix, you would do just about anything. Britton Carter is a case manager at the Joseph House Rehab Center. He says these syringes, which are mainly used on animals, are so accessible. It's hurting, it's heart wrenching. It's heart wrenching to know that we have these devices that can take our children's lives, take the lives of our loved ones so easily. Loretta Huffy says this receipt is a sign that she needs to take action. A lot of people talk about the different signs that you get from people that have passed on, and I believe you get them, and I think that was a sign for me to do something. Loretta's main goal in this is to bring awareness to people and just to let them know that this can happen to anybody. In Ross, I'm TJ Parker. Nine on your side.